So as you can see here, we have these number of products and with the help of these field here, I can set the minimum and the maximum value to filter the products. And also we have this slider. And once I click on this apply filter, then our filter products will be displayed over here, which falls under that same range. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 28th video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are using this DOM content loaded event. Then here we have this products array where we have different products. And after that, here we are grabbing our HTML elements. And here we are setting up the price range boundaries. So here we are applying this map method on our product array to get the prices. And then here we are setting the min price and max price inside the respective variables. And here we are setting the min price value. And after that, in these two, we are setting the max price values. And here we are updating the price label ranges. And then here we have the event listener for price filter controls. So if somebody sets some manual value, they can do that. And same thing we are doing here for other values as well. And then here we are applying the main event listener. That is if user clicks on apply filter, then it will trigger this function. So here we are filtering the products by their price range. And then we are passing this filter product into a display product function. And here we have the function definition for that. So first we are creating the UI with the help of this JavaScript. And here we are preparing the product cards. Here we are utilizing this for each method of array. And once we have those cards, we are just appending it to products container. So one by one, it will add the filter product to our container. And this function is to initially render the UI when our page loads. Okay, so this was the whole code overview. In case you need this code, then GitHub repository link is present inside the description of this video. Now, before we take a look on our UI, here is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like. And here we have the UI.